The Time Lords. Hey! First reference ever. Well, hello, and welcome to the Shallow Proclamation. My name's Paul, and this is... Ah! <laughs> I, this always catches me off guard. <laughs> I, I forgot about that, despite the fact we've seen it five times. <laughs> sorry, you are? Oh, sorry, I'm Thomas. There we go. Uh, and if you're joining us for the first time, why are you joining us on episode six of a story, you lunatic? But anyway, we're watching the war games. <laughs> <laughs> you're very welcome. So, Paul, you've seen this story before, haven't you? Uh... Yeah, I've got it on DVD, but I, I hadn't seen it before I brought it on DVD, but I've probably only watched it maybe twice in total. Oh, okay. Because it's ten parts, quite a long thing, so um, I don't remember all the details. Yeah. I know the big sort of uh, general gist of where we're all going. And I, all of the classic hero is new to me, so it's very exciting. I genuinely have no idea what's going to happen. The war chief. His people have the secret of time travel. Are you suggesting he's bringing in his own people? The Time Lords. Hey! First reference ever. Perhaps there are yeah. other people Time Lords. First ever mention. Is that the first time we've heard it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. So there's the Warlord and there's the Time Lord. Yeah. I like those frameless <laughs> glasses. <laughs> yeah, the, the eyewear in this story is very uh, bizarre. It's very sort of Kanye West. Mm. Before it's time. Yeah. Is that a fidget spinner on the wall? <laughs> Do you remember those? Oh, my kids have still got some lying around. They don't play with them. Occasionally I find them. They're still quite fun. Yeah. Pass some time, you know. I feel like I could divide my life up into trends from the dab to the Harlem Shake. Oh, the Harlem Shake. Spinner. See, I go back to Pogs and Tamagotchis. Oh, I do remember Tamagotchis at school, actually. Yeah, yeah there we go. Oh, crumbs. That is nice. Yeah. Yeah, not quite sure what that achieved, but. Well, I think I'm he's scanning his brain, isn't he? Because the guy says, scan them carefully. And I don't know mm. what. Yeah. I don't know what you could tell from that, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's a brain in there. There's a brain in there. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon the doctor learns a lot of his kind of knowledge from Zoe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's been prompting him quite a few times. Hmm. What's that all about? Yeah, that was weird. Prisoner being taken <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean about Kanye West <laughs> glasses. <actually. laughs> exactly, particularly that guy in the back right. <laughs> That's a good shout. There's been a point in this story where, the, where we thought the Doctor was about to die where we thought Zoe was about to die, and where we thought Jamie was about to die, right? I think so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They've really <laughs> ups the stakes. I think that might be Patrick Troughton's son. Oh, really? And he's also in Midnight. He's the old professor. You know what? The face... Now you say that, I can, act, I can totally see that in that guy's face. He's actually yes. in a per he's actually in a Pertwee story, but um, as well as a main character. But I think that is him. Wow! So I think been... I think it's David Troughton. Wow! I think that's I think that's what it is. There's a few Troughtons because we were quite. It took it was relatively early on in the experiment that I discovered that Harry Melling, who played Dudley Dursley, is the grandson of <laughs> Patrick Troughton or something, <laughs> or the great grandson. I can't remember now. Tell you what you get a lot more of in uh, old school Doctor Who is things like that where people on, just Doctor, like shoot shoot each other like point blank or like just very much on screen. They don't hide people being shot in the way they sometimes do in the modern era. Yeah, that's true. It's, it's, it's much more sort of visibly violent. Yeah, it's interesting because some people would, might say that films and TV shows have become a bit too gory. And I can understand that. But actually, there's also an argument that TV from this era, like the 60s, was um, a bit too flippant about shooting. And they're just kind of like, oh, yeah, pop, pop, off they go. And uh, <laughs> well, I think as, as well, I, I mean, how many shows from this, this kind of era of television and even later, people were just sitting there smoking and all that, yeah. like, ways you would never have now. Like, <laughs> yeah. 
British private army. Yeah, that is um, that really is David Tron. Yeah, that's fascinating. Uh, he's got some mesh over his right eye. Well, that's a fake scar, isn't it? Ah, yeah. Must be a fake scar. I bet that didn't show up as well in the <laughs> <laughs> the original. I was like, yeah, is that meant to be visible? Uh, <laughs> and not too convinced by that fight. No, not, not the best we've ever seen. Oh, no. <laughs> that was quite really? an impressive fall, though, actually. Yeah. I, I, it was so bad, it was good, that scene. So. Yes, another slightly underwhelming. Oh, that was a good punch and fall. Oh. <laughs> thing is it is very hard to pull those off isn't it you come one step nearer and particularly it would like one camera shot like that like it's hard yeah. to create much drama because normally they'd cut on the punch wouldn't they so then it's yeah. just like that kind of tricks you into thinking oh that was a really high impact blow oh it's such a good door yeah Doctor, or you will all be crushed to death. You have 30 seconds to decide. Oh, no, no, no. 30 seconds! Oh. Now that is a, a neat little cliffhanger there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, they've they've really smashed the cliffhangers in this story. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, that, that first use of the the term Time Lord, but again, quite tantalising, wasn't it? You like didn't give away much, just kind of. No, just. <laughs> oh yeah, Time Lords. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean another good solid episode though. I mean I've enjoyed all that again. You know, I think. Um, yeah, the mention of the Time Lords is a great little nugget there in uh, in the show's history there. Although it wasn't in reference to the Doctor, was it? No, it wasn't. It's in reference to the war chief. So we have not yet had that sort of confirmation that the Doctor is a Time Lord. Um, mm. um, I'm hopeful but... we might get that soon, though. <clears throat> and we I enjoyed the... Yeah, good to see David Troughton popping up. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> there. Um, I hadn't really... I knew he's in a Pertwee story, and, uh, but I hadn't really twigged that he'd be appearing earlier, although I probably had seen him in, in the past and recognised him at the time, um, but just forgotten about it. So uh, that was a nice little bit. He's got quite a decent role in that episode, actually. Mm. Um, and then the cliffhanger is just really good, isn't it? That Just the idea of having the dimensional controls and the thing that's bigger on the inside getting smaller on the inside and crushing them uh, yeah. is a really nice idea to finish the episode with. It's a little bit like the uh, the time meddler. They shrink the mm. inside of his TARDIS, don't they? And then yes. he looks in and he's like, oh, no, I can't get in. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. No, very good. Just kind of excited to see where it goes. Uh, yeah, yeah, me too. Like, just eager to crack on with it, really, because it's that enjoyable. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching people do let us know in the comments what you made of this story by all accounts it seems to be a pretty popular one um mm. and do join our discord community for more of uh, this chit chat uh the link is in the description below and uh yeah there's been quite a lot of activity in there recently hasn't there paul just uh, people sharing doctor who news and uh little memes and tidbits yes indeed lots <laughs> of fun little bits like that so yeah come and join us Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Bye-bye.